Two empty houses in Ashford in Kent, a small part of Fergus and Judith Wilson's thousand home property empire. They're Britain's biggest landlords. But if you're on benefits, they say you're no longer welcome. Landlords like Fergus Wilson say they've had enough. Increasingly, their tenants on housing benefit are in arrears and upcoming changes to the benefit system means it will be difficult to extract that rent in the future and the situation will only get worse. So rather than be patient with those tenants, Mr Wilson has decided to evict them and bring in new tenants who are working and can afford to pay their rent and aren't reliant on any benefits at all. The Wilsons own most of this residential street, but they don't seem to have many fans around here. You rent from him? We do, yes. Right, and uh, what's your situation? Uh, well, my partner works, but we still have to have some top-up um, of benefit because rents are so high at the moment. Um, and so, you know, it's worrying to think that he's, you know, coming down on people on benefits, especially working families. Who are trying their best, like you, are you? That's right. I mean, I, I'm here looking after my children, <laughs> and, you know, that's my choice. Um, and, you know, we should really be entitled to stay in our home, you know. She didn't want to appear on camera, but insists that even though she's in receipt of benefits, she's never been in arrears. Regardless, the Wilsons still say that tenants like her will now be evicted. It's one thing to kick out tenants who are in arrears. It's another to kick out tenants that are on any benefits at all. They're working, they're striving to get on, and yet you're pulling the plug on them too. Well, it is a little bit harsh, particularly for those ones which were on benefits and were not in arrears. But you have to understand that um, those falling into arrears was a growing percentage. Uh, when we took the decision, it had gone over 51%. So the majority of people on, on benefits were in arrears. There are, there are always going to be some casualties. There will be some people you may have spoken to that we haven't picked up, everything fine, and we haven't done anything about it. So as far as they're concerned, keep their heads down, everything's fine. But you'll get round but to them as well. But no, only, only, if, they only if they draw themselves to the attention of us. Mr Wilson owns all of the houses on this estate here in Folkestone. Now we've spoken to several of the residents who say they're not on benefits, but they say his decision to evict those who are has made them all feel nervous nonetheless. Like this one, who also didn't want to appear on camera. Um, but it does and it makes you very uneasy, very uneasy. You're just not sure what's going to happen next really. So even though you are working, uh, your husband works, you don't claim benefits, it, this whole situation has made you feel a little bit insecure, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, very, very, because you really don't know, you know, what, what, is, what it's going to do next. Her rent's just increased, something the Wilsons say is justified simply because house prices have gone up. But isn't that just making the problem worse? We feel there are a lot of people out there that need to get off their backsides and basically go and find a job. What I'm not behind are the people I see when I walk down the street, youngsters, age, end of 20s, early 30s, not working, not wanting to work, and finding all the excuses under the world, and that is the real problem. People have got to take responsibility for their lives. Employment is the passport to getting a house. Gone are the days when you could rely on housing benefits.